So we've had the experiencing of the spiraling of the feet and the legs and the pelvic halves on the ground, and now we are taking it up to standing. But before we move into asanas, let's just ground ourselves and let's explore what these spirals feel like now that the feet are roots rather than away from the floor and in space. So I invite you to take your legs a little bit wider than your hips. You could even take them a little bit wider than that. And we're just gonna flow the toes forwards, remembering that we don't wanna put ourselves in a shape that doesn't feel good. So if this is you know, uncomfortable, causing pain or strain, bring the legs in a little bit more, or maybe just let the toes move out just slightly. So we have tripod feet here. And just invite you to start to shift your weight from side to side. And right away, we're not shifting side to side. We're actually doing this beautiful figure eight, this spiraling movement. A very important detail is your tail. So as we've learned, you know, the tail is part of the spine and not part of the pelvis, even though that's where they communicate. So we want the tail to be free. It's a lovely limb. And then we're very clear with our energy, you know, through our central channel here and then pelvic halves to legs to feet. And there is an internal and external rotation that's happening. And the pelvic halves are spiraling. So now we have all of this freedom. And then later on, we're going to be experiencing how the heart is very spiralic, how it's very uh, cylindrical. So, you know, we could even start this spiraling through the heart. So many ways we can spiral through the body. Ah, so now we just freed everything up. We really feel this connectivity from the ground up and then just, just take a few little yield and push. Condense, expand. I move into support and then I can move myself away from it but in this beautifully integrated way that I can take this energy and decide where I want it to go rather than it's just a hard push and then I get stuck. Let's just do a few more and then we're gonna move into our asanas. So let's explore Virabhadrasana 1. So we have our feet forward here. There's many ways we could get into this. And today we're just going to take our foot here and turn it. So I've got my right foot turned. And then I want to remember the spirals. So I don't want to just stick my foot, my leg down here like it's a kickstand. I want to find that tripod foot. And then I want to spiral the foot, the leg, and then here we go, pelvic half. Now the other thing to check in with is the heel in the front to the middle of the arch in the back. And we spiral, but our hips aren't, it's not a bowl, right? We don't square the hips off. That's gonna cause a lot of strain through your low back, your SI area. So the, the hips, they spiral. They spiral around, and then it's the rest of the spine that makes its way. It's the rest of the body that spirals. So it's a continual spiral through the entire body. And then we can flow the arms up and finding that lovely yield and push so that we're having a conversation with earth, with space, 
Now, if we move into Virabhadrasana 2, we can unspiral. So see if you can feel how the hips start to open. And so does the rest of the torso. And let's try another spiraling round. So begin this with the foot, a beautiful spiraling, spiraling, spiraling up through the leg. And there goes the pelvis. And this pelvis is also spiraling back. It's doing that lovely rotation. But then we don't want to keep trying to jam in the hips. We want to let the energy flow upwards. And then here we are. And then here we go. Let's unspiral. So you could begin this from the top as well. So here we go from the upper body and then the lower body responding. Now we're going to move into Uthita Parsva Konasana, extended side angle. Now our hips are not doing the same thing here. So we want to find another spiraling open through the spine. So there's clarity when our legs or arms are doing different things. We still have this beautiful map how to organize because we're very integrated through the center. And that's why that tail being free is so important. And then a lovely yield and push, flowing back up. And then we could move into Trikonasana. So we come down and we could just start here. You could even start higher and we wanna check in. So my hips are not going to open up to the front. They're going to spiral as much as they can. And then the rest of this is through the spine. So this is now spiraling open. And you can always move down. And we have that yield and push. Can you actually feel the energy flow through your joints? You can do that a few times. It's ensuring that we're really connected with gravity and space. And then you can always just find a little bit more spiral through the spine, turning the head upwards. Easeful, quiet center. And we can flow the arm over and turn. And then what if we went into a lunge? See if you can follow the spirals in your body. And then a nice big push from that back foot. You're going to take it forwards. And here we go. Yield and push. And let's just roll up. And just shaking things out. And then we will explore that on the other side, all of these beautiful spirals.